Okay, so we're gonna do a little quiz. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Starbucks, my least favorite coffee. Okay, what type of mark is it? Is it fanciful? Is it arbitrary? Is it suggestive, descriptive, or is it generic? Well, we know it's not generic. Hmm, think about it. If your answer was fanciful, you are correct. Why is it fanciful? Starbucks does not exist as a word. There was um, a character named Starbuck in Moby Dick, but you know, it's, it's a non-existent word. It's a pretty fanciful uh, word. So that is it. The answer is fanciful. Camel brand cigarettes. Fanciful, arbitrary, suggestive, descriptive, or generic. If you said arbitrary, you would be correct. Camel brand cigarettes is using a word that exists in a very different way, different context. Back when I was a kid uh, in the 80s, they had an awesome, <laughs> an awesome um, representation of the camel that was a cartoon and they banned the use of Joe Camel, who is the cartoon, uh, because it encouraged kids to smoke. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you know, it was, shit was different in the 80s, um, clearly, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, Camel Brand cigarettes is arbitrary. All right, next up, thermos. Thermos, think about that one, think about that one. Hmm. Now, you know what a thermos is. It keeps beverages hot or cold. Thermal, thermos. You may be saying suggestive. And that would probably be right, except for you, well, people started using thermos to describe any beverage container that kept a beverage hot or cold and thermos lost its trademark on the name thermos because it, it became a generic term just like everybody using hydro flask to describe a flask could also be bad bad times for hydro flask brand beverage containers at some at some point okay so it's generic thermos is generic and these examples will be on the test heads up Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. Waiting for the slime to fall on me. I don't know. You probably don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. Hmm. Okay, a Nickelodeon is a place where you pay, um, you know, it was common in the early 20th century where you paid Five cents to go see a film and get beaten up by Edison thugs. Uh, no, you, you, you go and see a, a movie in a, in a theater. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, hmm. So you maybe are saying, like, it's suggestive because, you know, it's a cable network, uh, a ch children's cable network. It's suggestive, right? Nickelodeon, you pay a nickel to see movies. You watch stuff on cable. But in fact, the actual answer is arbitrary. Nickelodeon is a theater where you go and pay five cents to see a movie. Nickelodeon is a cable network. It is basically a service. It's just, it's just entirely different, although related. Okay, but it doesn't, uh, Nickelodeon doesn't suggest the quality or nature of the um, of the cable network itself. It's kind of a tricky one, but, you know. Playboy, 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 Playboy. Interesting story while you're thinking about this. Uh, I sold my house last summer, and I sold it to uh, this guy who was the art director for Playboy 
for 30 years in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Uh, and so he assigned work to Andy Warhol, Keith Haring. Um, it was pretty, pretty cool. He did, all, he did a lot of the illustrations and pinup illustrations and stuff like that. His name's Carrick Pope. Um, but he gave us uh, for some crappy yard furniture and deck furniture that we had uh, some original illustrations that were in Playboy in the early 80s. So pr pretty, pretty, pretty cool, pretty valuable. Pull, you pull back the, the back, it says property of Playboy. Anyways, Playboy, Playboy, what is it? Fanciful, arbitrary, suggestive, descriptive, generic. The correct answer is... Suggestive. A boy who likes to play. I mean, that's really what it's suggesting totally is like that. Play boys, you know? That's it. Bam, bam. Suggestive. All right. Frosted mini wheats. Now, there is a distinct trademark. Hmm. Fanciful, arbitrary, suggestive descriptive or generic? The correct answer is descriptive. Frosted mini wreaths, it is what it is, but you associate it with the particular brand. That's why when you go, um, go to the grocery store, you'll see plenty of mini wheats with frosting on it, but they'll be called different things. Made by different, you know, uh, brand names, and that's, that's because uh, Kellogg's owns the trademark on Frosted Mini Wheats. Okay, it's descriptive. Jaguar. Jaguar. Hmm. Hmm. The correct answer is suggestive, um, mostly because, you know, it's about the, car, the lines of the car, the muscular tone of the car, the speed of the car, the qualities you associate with a Jaguar, you, uh, you associate with a Jaguar. Nike. Now, the Nike is the goddess of winning. So is it a hmm, fanciful, arbitrary, suggestive, descriptive, or generic? Hmm. Well, we know it's not generic because it's basically accounts for about 20 billion of Nike's value as a company, which is insane. Um, the answer actually is not suggestive, although you would think that um, winning Nike, winning Nike. Uh, but the, the correct answer is arbitrary. The goddess of victory used arbitrarily for a clothing and athletic or apparel company. Okay, it's arbitrary. All right, so we'll take a little, little break here and have a jewel, have a nap, have a walk, do some hacky sacking, uh, go eat some avocado toast. I know y'all like that stuff. <laughs> Whatever, you know, go watch a little YouTube video, play some Fortnite. Um, and we'll come back and we got a little bit more and we'll be out.